I will not recommend this to my students it's too risky and I don't want them to waste time and money by doing this hello hello everyone this is Moni from PT Imagery welcome back to my channel the video today will be the one that a lot of students have requested me to do and we are going to talk about one line strategy again I'm actually in Vietnam at the moment I have never taken the PTE exam in Vietnam before and if you guys have been following me and watched my previous videos you uh, should already know that I generally get 90 O bands when I take the test in Australia um, but in order for me to do new experiments I needed to make sure that I could get 90 in Vietnam as well uh, so yeah on the 31st of August I took my exam at EMG Center in Hanoi and this is the score that I got So yay, I got 90 for each four modules and uh, that made me much more confident to do some new experiments for you guys and um, so after a week on the 7th of September, I booked another exam. So in this test attempt, I wanted to test two things. The first thing is of course one line strategy. But then because I paid for the test anyways, uh, I wanted to test uh, another thing which is adding more words in Russian dictation. So normally I, I would add two to three words, but this time I was adding more words. So probably five or six words uh, and see if I lose points by doing that. So let's check out my scores. I got 84 listening, 80 reading, 76 speaking and 88 writing. This is probably the first time in a while that I got below 79 in speaking. Um, I got 76 but then despite not completing the full content in read aloud, I still got 80 in reading which is pretty high. Um, but then it's also maybe because I did really well in the reading questions I like fill in the blanks reorder paragraph multiple choice questions I also did pretty well in summarized written text and uh, listening highlight correct summary highlight incorrect words which all contribute to the reading points in terms of restroom dictation uh, by adding more words than I normally do uh, I lost few points here just be extra cautious when adding so many words so with Russian dictation I recommend if you want to add extra words alternatives if you are not sure if the word should be singular or plural or if you are not sure about preposition or articles try to add only two to three words for every sentence don't do more than that because you are risking to lose points there and back to the one line technique for read aloud uh, I think I really did those points in read aloud because uh, I got 84 listening which means my repeat sentence, my retail lecture and answer short questions were pretty good uh, so probably lost points in read aloud and my reading was 80 which is very close to 79 so what I did was probably the same thing in my last video uh, in Pearson's mock test where I got 90 speaking I was reading random sentences so in some read aloud passage I was reading the first sentence in some I was reading the second and in some passages I was reading the third uh, the last sentence so yeah I was doing the same thing but somehow I didn't get 90 and I got 76 and that made me feel that I will not recommend this to my students it's too risky and um, I don't want them to waste time and money by doing this on the other hand I have been reading many of your comments saying that you got um, a high score by using one line hack uh, if it really help you yeah feel free to use that but it's just personally because I have not seen this working in the real test uh, for the meantime I will not recommend this and it also wouldn't be wise to just depend on one loophole um, they can change it anytime yeah, if you really believe in it um, then you can use it at your own risk in my next video I will be sharing some new tips on how I got 90 in my 31st 
of August uh, exam. Like, if you guys like my content, please click like and subscribe. If you want to comment or ask me anything, please also comment below. Thank you guys for watching and best of luck with your test. Bye. Meet Eric, a PTE aspirant. Eric lost his valuable time and money after having spent thousands of dollars to pass his exam during the last six months to apply for permanent residency in Australia. Thanks to his friend Mona, who told him about the PTE Magic Online platform. It's an AI-based PTE practice test simulation platform that helps you prepare for PTE academic with a comprehensive question bank and automated scoring system. The platform offered him advanced features like scored speaking in real time, mock test with a scorecard and details, real repeated questions. It even gave him access to useful exam tips and essential templates for effective study without any trainer. Now, Eric is extremely confident of clearing his exam. Having a clear picture of his performance with the marking system similar to the actual PTE exam, he is just one step closer to his Australian dream. Start your practice with PTE Magic now.